fuck it. Dre, just let it run. It starts with... Hey yo, turn the beat up a little bit. Hey yo. This song is for anyone. Fuck it. Just shut up and listen. What's up? It's me, Chris. And I'm DJ. And this is Wrestling in Session. Fuck remotes! No, 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 not fuck remotes. What's the matter with you, man? It's episode 8. Not fuck remotes. You fucking cum I mean, I love perfect water. <laughs> Screw you, cunt bag. Alright, go. come on. Let's go to the topic. What the fucking topic already, man? Seriously. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Taking your sweet ass time. Right. That's all you do. Candace Michelle gave birth. Are you serious? No. Yes. Very. Right. She's a mom now. <laughs> she's so, so sexy, but she's a mom now. Not oh, fuck. It. I guess she's a milf. I'll still screw her. All right. Next. And uh, also her. Jeremy Bar Borish Borish Borash. Yeah. Borash. He's basically like the TNA's Kevin Kelly. <laughs> but no, he, he, he met cool, he met man. with Shelton Benjamin and uh, got text messages from Bret Hart. Yeah, I bet I bet he <laughs> I bet he got excited in his so pants. Mathodite yeah. Kevin Kelly. <laughs> I remember him and um, yeah, he's been in TNA since day one. He. Like, he does a lot of uh, backstage news. He does um, the YouTube shows with Taz and stuff. And he, he's a huge part of TNA when it comes to commentating. He's not the head commentator, but, yeah. yeah we got to save one of these topics, but uh, let's talk about uh, Mr. Anderson. He oh, supposedly yeah. is going to have a face turn. He may become a face, yeah. Um, honestly, he, he's a right as a heel, but I, I think he's better as a face. I think he's better as, like, the good guy because he's got so much charisma, and he, he doesn't have, like, he he doesn't have like rock mic skills, but he he knows how to talk when it comes to like when he's on, on there and shit. <laughs> well, what's wrong? No, nothing. But he's no. got it in him. I mean, and he he my that's that's how I feel, dude. I think he's a, a way better face than he is as a heel. Yeah. Hey, well, uh, also, this, this is the question I've been asking. Uh, <laughs> do they promote indies enough? Uh, the independent circuit. Not really, man. I mean, I understand this underground professional wrestling, but you got to see some of the stuff. There are incredible athletes. If you guys watch NXT, um, I don't know if you've heard of um, Daniel Bryan. You know, you know, you know that guy. His in-ring ability is incredible. I think potentially they may try to make him into like the new Kurt Angle. I mean, I know that's a lot to say, but it's possible. But yeah, there's some phenomenal wrestlers in the um, independent circuit. All right, um, and I, I, Fuck my I, phone. Stop, man. But, all right, and um, right now, pain ending news in session. Our edition of pain ending news in session today is the uh, wrestling in, um, ratings between Raw and TNA. What do you think about it, man? TNA, ever since they moved back to Thursdays, I, I know it's too early to tell. It's been two weeks, but TNA has been slightly going up as Raw has been going down. You know what I'm saying? And it plays a huge factor. Obviously, Raw is still ahead. What the fuck is the matter with you, man? <laughs> what? I don't know. Stupid or math. No, uh, uh, Raw's <laughs> been dropping. I mean, yeah, it's... Man. I mean, I, I don't know. You figure, all right, they get Brett the, Brett, Brett the Hitman Hart. I can't say his name. Brett the Hitman Hart to become the new general manager of Raw. Like, holy shit. I mean, that should put ratings up, man. I mean, he's a legend. But no, they dropped a, from a 3.4 to a 3.1. And the, yeah, you, you hate the truth, don't you? No. Yeah, you do hate the truth. And um, what do you call it? TNA scored a 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.0. They're slightly going up, but that shows that TNA's growing. And I think they're way better on Thursdays, at least for now. But Raw, I'm kind of scared about. And uh, another sign of how Raw's do, um, kind of going down is because, uh, you know, like, I forget, they had a commercial free Raw in the summer, they pulled like a 4.5, this one they only put, pulled a 3.4, so they went down as much as TNA got. Wow, yeah, you've been doing your homework. I have. Good man. job, man. Thanks. Yeah, alright, we're going to go to a quick break, uh, uh, we're going to give you guys clip, a... The first video clip of the day, sorry about last week, we'll be back. Here it is right here, guys. Talk to bit.
fucking back already. Talk. Oh, shit. And then fuck you, Jay. Banchard. Right. My God. All right. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> Alright, um, well, th we have our opinions now. First ever, we're about to talk about our opinions. Besides giving you news, I think we should be able to give our opinions. So, first off, who do you think should run TNA and why? Um, I already know who I think should run it. To be honest, I think Eric Bischoff should run it. Oh, Eric Bischoff's amazing. Well, I think he got a role deal when he was back in WWE. He, uh, he's very capable of running a business like TNA. Even he could go back to Monday Night Raw and run it and probably bring the ratings up. Oh, definitely. He he did he did a very good job. But uh, when he was in WWE, it seemed like as if he was just you know a bad person and like didn't give a well, rat's good. ass that's about good. no one. But I mean, that's part of entertainment, man. He's yeah, a but dumbass. No shit, Sherlock. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> but I'm just letting you know, everyone know here that. Eric Bischoff is a good guy, and he's, oh, he's a, great a great person guy. to run a show. And he is, but don't you think more than one there's person more, there's should more run to TNA? Him. Don't you think more than no, no, no? I don't, no? I don't agree. What about Paul Heyman? What about people like, um, what do you call it, Shane you know, McMahon? If Paul, they should run. They should run the damn company, man. If Paul, not people like Vince Russo, that jerk yeah, well, off. You know what, Paul Heyman. You know what I'm saying? I'd, go, honestly, I'd rather see Jim Cornette take over than that jerk off Vince Russo. He fucked WCW over. Paul and that Heyman. Guy, he should just dig a hole and die. Paul Heyman can go opinion, get man. rock bottom <laughs> through a freaking rock goddamn announce table again. All right. How about that? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Wait. Stuff. Wait a second. What if you guys own one of these companies? What would you do? Oh, he kind of got it, sir. Honestly, I wouldn't have a PG era. <laughs> no PG. Agreed. I would make, and if we had, if I had seen, I'd turn him into a heel because I think his gimmicks are just raw. Another attitude era. Oh, oh, definitely another attitude era. Maybe even another alliance era. That was good. Just like build more could you make more violence, more But could you more make blood. an attitude era better than The Rock? Stone Cold, more nah. problems with destruction. I don't know, man. There's only there's only one Rock. There's only one Austin. There's only one Undertaker and Kane. Honestly, I'd try to make I. Give Wait, what Kane, was that? I, can't I give even, Kane a push. There was only one great one, so how could you compete against that? Though? But there's stars that we could build up. There's guys with potential, believe it or not. Honestly, yeah. there is only one rock. I you understand know, it's, it's funny you should say that there is room for potential. But don't you think they should but, turn Cena into a heel? Your favorite Cena? Yeah, they should. Oh my god, how long has he been doing that? <laughs> Shit, what, five years now? Come on now. He'll turn everything around, jealous. yo. You're I'm not jealous. jealous. I think they should do something different, bro. I really think they should do something different. They've Cena's been, got the he's aggression. He's had that washed-up gimmick for five years now. You know what? Um, Six, maybe. Maybe even... I oh kind of... God. Okay, chill your nips. Um, I do it's believe like that. that if he does turn, he can indeed, you know, bring the show up. And it oh, could yeah, yeah, it could yeah. represent something new. It could be a totally new star for WWE. Introduce new, better and new things for the future. And... Um, to be honest, I would still be a fan of him, but I, I just I can't really see him disrespecting the crowd. But hey, he's done I mean, it before. Like, and what about um, what do you call it? the storylines? I think the WWE they have the same shit. No, we're not going to cut it now. We're going to cut it in a little bit because this is wrestling session. We're going to cut we your cut head off. What we man? And um, what do you call it? Fucking a holes. Yeah, we're going to finish it right here. I I think we, uh, we'll go on to uh, about this the next episode. But one more thing, I think they should. WWE, they need to make new storylines. How much times have we seen the same fuckers wrestling each other? What, CM Punk and Rocky I do Stewart agree with that. For six months? I that, agree. That's just bullshit. The ride on no PG. It really is. It, really, it is. TV 14 we for life. Still, wait, we are Fuck still PG. alive. We are still alive. <laughs> what, man? I agree with you. You're damn right, man. This is Wrestling in Session. I am Chris. I'm DJ. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I didn't mean this, Jay. Yeah, I know. It's, it's okay. It's All right, okay. Um, this is Wrestling in Session. I'm Chris. And I'm DJ. And enjoy our second video clip of the day. We apologize. Sorry. Thank you. Roll it. Peace out, guys. Just a few inches away from the bottom rope. We'll come back even on the ring. And now, Triangle's got it locked in. Got Sammy it. is going nowhere. Angle's going to hit the top.